God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message this week is the state of your soul. I will be reading from Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of the flocks and look well to thy herds. My beloved, every wise business owner will periodically update his accounts, examine his inventory, and discover whether his business is prospering or declining. Every man who is wise in the kingdom of heaven will cry out to God saying, Search me, O God, and know my heart. That's from Psalm. 139 and verse 23. He will frequently set apart time for self-examination to discover whether things are right between God and his soul. The God whom we worship is a great heart searcher and will make a diligent investigation of your spiritual condition. Let the seasoned saint of God look well to the fundamentals of his faith and check the condition of others in the faith. Do not allow the novice Christian to despise the word of warning for the greenness of youth, so that he may be joined to the rottenness of hypocrisy. Beloved, the enemy, who is Satan, continues to sow tares among the wheat and starts with those weakest in the Christian faith. My beloved, it is not my aim to introduce doubts and fears into your mind, but I hope that the method of self-examination may help drive your doubts and fears away. It is only the carnal security that we want to kill, not confidence, but fleshly confidence, which we would cast away, not peace, but false peace, which we would destroy. Beloved, the precious blood of Jesus Christ was not shed to make you a hypocrite, but so that sincere souls might show forth his praise. What is the state of your soul today, my beloved, and the souls of those who depend on your guidance? Are you leading them in the right direction because of your relationship with God through Jesus Christ? I hope so. Remember, my beloved, the state of your soul is very important. So as a scripture says today from Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 23, be thou diligent to know the state of the flocks and look well to thy herds. Check on those that seek you for guidance and advice as pertaining to their Christian walk. Be right yourself with God, and you will be able to help others that are falling short in their walk with God through Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for the message today, the state of your soul. Help us, Lord, in our relationship with you to have that close, trustful relationship, to study your word, to be mindful of our prayer time. Lord God, let us walk in your wisdom and let us use the things that you give us to pass on to others, the guidance, the good advice, the faithfulness that we have in you. Thank you, Father God, for this time of prayer as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, majesty now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a great week and know that God loves you and Jesus died for you.